Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates, where I teach lettering and digital design tutorials. So today I have a Silhouette Studio tutorial for you, and I'm going to show you how to make this fun design using the knockout method in Silhouette Studio. So when you use the knockout method, it allows you to superimpose one design onto another. So as you can see here, the palm tree is superimposed onto the words beach vibes. And if I, if I move this text a little bit, you can see that the letters are knocked out and the palm tree fits right into the letters. And so that's why it's called the knockout method because the one design is partially knocked out and another design is placed into it. So this is the design that we are going to create today. So I am just going to open a new document and the first thing I'm gonna do is add some text. Come over here to the text panel and I'm just gonna type out the word beach. I'm gonna type it out in all caps. Oops, all caps. There we go. And then over here, I'm gonna highlight the text and over here, I'm going to change the font. I'm gonna change it to impact. And with Silhouette Studio, you can use any font that you have on your computer. So if you have impact font on your, com on your computer, you can use that. And I'm using the impact font because it is thick and chunky and it works well for this type of design. So I'm just gonna click and drag and um, make the font a little bit bigger and then I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit Alt and click and drag down to make a copy and then just double click in here and change this to the word vibes. And then I am going to click and drag and make sure that the word vibes is about the same length or fits under the word beach like so. Next I'm going to change the color of my text. I'm going to highlight both and then I'm going to come over here to the color panel and I am going to choose this blue right here and I'm going to get rid of the red line around the text as well. Come up here and choose this transparent. Okay. Next I'm going to group these two lines together Command or Control G, and then I'm going to go up to Object, Make Compound Path. And you can see that I lost my color, so I'm just gonna go right back over here again and put my color back in, and again, change the outline to uh, transparent. Next, I'm gonna add the palm tree, and it's located in the Silhouette Studio Library, so I'm just gonna go up to File, Library, library and uh, the uh, palm tree file that I'm using came free with my Cameo 4. So I am just going to navigate to it. You may not have a palm tree on yours depending on what Cameo you have. Um, you can choose whatever design you want. I'm just using this palm tree right here. So I'm going to double click on it and it's going to bring it into the design. So I don't want everything with this palm tree. Like I don't want the coconuts. I don't want the grass down here. So with the palm tree selected, I'm gonna go up to object and ungroup. And then I can delete the coconuts and I can delete this grass down here. And I want um, all the entire palm tree welded together because right now the leaves are separate from the trunk right here. So I'm just going to select both. I'm going to come over here to the modify panel and hit weld. And then now you can see that the palm tree is all one piece. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change it to this green color, um, get rid of the uh, red line around it. And then I'm gonna click and drag and 
resize this down so it fits right on top of the word speech vibes and i'm kind of lining up the bottom of the palm tree trunk right here with the bottom of the eye adjusted it so the palm tree right here the edge of it is just touching this edge of the eye right here now we want what we want to do is we want to make a copy of everything and we want to place the copy exactly um on top of the original design so you select everything and you hit Control or command c and then Control or command f to place in front now with the copy selected you're going to come over here to the modify panel and you're going to hit crop and what that does is it crops the um, palm tree into the letters. And then you're going to hit this make right here under compound path. I'm going to change the palm tree to a different color so you can see exactly how it was cropped. I'm going to change it to red. And so you can see that some of the palm tree was cropped into the letters right there. Now we're going to select the green palm tree and we're going to make an offset for it. So select the palm tree, the green palm tree, and come over here to the offset panel, which looks like this star right here. And click that and then click offset up here and you can change the uh, distance of the offset right here. So you see when I click this offset, um, it got this red line around the palm tree. Um, so I don't want the offset to be that big. So I'm going to change it um, and you can, I'm going to change it with these arrows right here. You can also like type in a specific offset distance, but I'm just going to click this down arrow right here until it gets pretty um, small. I don't want a huge offset. So 0.05 there we go all right so a 0 0.05 offset and then i'm just going to click apply right here well, now i'm going to zoom in really close so i can see that offset i'm just going to zoom in because the next step is to select the offset, this red line right here, and your purple text. So I'm gonna click on the text, and then click on the offset right here. And then we're gonna come over to the Modify panel one more time. Open the Modify panel, and this time we're gonna uh, click Subtract right here. And when you click Subtract, you can see that it subtracted the offset out of the uh, uh, text. So there's a little border right here now around the palm tree. And then I'm just gonna click uh, make under compound path. So once you have all that done, that is pretty much it. And now you can delete the um, green uh, palm tree that you have because you do not need that now you don't need that copy so just select the green palm tree and hit delete and then when you zoom out you can see that you have text and you have the palm tree superimposed into that text now you can go ahead and select the palm tree and change it back to the green color and there you go so now i'm going to show you quickly how you would cut this out so because we made each color a compound path if i click on this text and move it see all the pieces move together and same for the green palm tree it's all like fused together so in order to cut this out, you're going to go over to the send panel. And my favorite way to do this is to cut by fill. So if you just select this fill option right here at the top, you can see that you have blue and you have green. And so what I would do first is I would cut out the text first. So the blue, I mean, you can cut out the 
You can cut it out in whatever order you want. I'm just going to start with the blue. So you would uncheck this box right here and then um, change this to whatever uh, uh, you're using, whether it's vinyl or cardstock or whatever you're going to cut it out on um, and change your blade. Uh, the action would be cut and you know you would change your blade to whatever blade you're using i use the auto blade so yeah check this box right here next to the blue and then run it through your machine to cut the blue and then when that's done you just uncheck this box check this one next to the green make sure all your settings are correct and then run this through your machine to cut out the green palm tree. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. If you want more Silhouette Studio uh, tutorials, you can find them on my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.